Good afternoon, this is Sean Golding with Golding & Golding. Here to discuss the basics of what do you do if you're a Puerto Rico resident and you have foreign assets that may be considered Form 8938. So to go through the basics, Form 8938 is in accordance with FATCA. FATCA is the Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act. Uh, U.S. persons who are filing 1040 tax returns for the most part are required to disclose certain specified foreign financial assets on a Form 8938. Whether or not they have to file the form based on the threshold will vary whether or not they're living in the U.S. or outside of the U.S. and whether they're married filing joint or single married filing separate. There's different thresholds depending on the maximum values and the year-end values and they vary anywhere from $50,000 or more than $50,000 to more than $600,000. When somebody resides in Puerto Rico, uh, they may or may not have a U.S. Uh, 1040 tax filing requirement. Puerto Rico is a, is a commonwealth of the United States, and there's something called uh, the bona fide residence rule. Under the bona fide residence rule, it essentially says that if you meet the presence test along with the two other elements, that overall you may not have to file a U.S. tax return to include your Puerto Rico income. So if all you had was Puerto Rico sourced income, you may not have to file a Form 1040. Um, if you have Puerto Rico and other sourced income, then you would have to file the 1040 at least to report uh, the other income. The rules are a little bit different if you're a non-resident alien and you meet the bona fide residence test uh, for Puerto Rico. Just meeting that test is a little different uh, for permanent residents and citizens as opposed to non-residents. So if you have to file a Form 1040, then you would be considered a U.S. person and you would have to file the Form 8938. If you're a U.S. person, but you don't have to file a Form 1040 because you don't have any income outside of income sourced in Puerto Rico, you may not have to file the Form 8938. See, a comparable form, the FBAR, you have to file when you're a U.S. person whether or not uh, you file a tax return. If you meet the threshold requirements of filing an FBAR, the mere fact that you don't have to file a, a tax return doesn't mean that you don't have to file the FBAR. It's different for the Form 8938. For the Form 8938, you only have to file the Form 8938 if you have to file a U.S. tax return. Okay. If you otherwise meet the threshold filing requirements of filing a Form 8938, but let's say you don't have sufficient income or U.S. sourced income if you're a resident in Puerto Rico, then you don't have to file a Form 8938 just to show that you met the threshold requirements. So let's say that you are a U.S. person residing in Puerto Rico and you, you, you're going to have to file a Form 8938 if you have sufficient um, assets because you have to file a Form 1040. You may still have sufficient U.S. sourced income and you're a U.S. person. Okay, so a few different things you could do. Whether or not you have to actually file the Form 8938 because you met the threshold, you don't take into consideration assets that are in Puerto Rico and other commonwealths and territories. So if it's not going to be considered a foreign country or a foreign asset for purposes of Form 8938. So if you have U.S. sourced income, if you're a resident of Puerto Rico and you have U.S. sourced income sufficient to have to file a 1040, um, you may not have to file the Form 8938 if you're able to keep the threshold below. Um, another way to do it would be just try to avoid filing the Form 1040, try to avoid having any income sourced outside of Puerto Rico. Of course, that could be difficult if you've got foreign assets depending on, your, on how you're set up in terms of single married filing separate or joint. You can also try to keep the foreign assets under the reporting requirement, but for the most part, for people who are, are high net worth, um, it's going to be pretty difficult to not have any U.S. sourced income. Um, that's your first defense: is no U.S. sourced income or income outside of Puerto Rico. Because if you have other, if you're a U.S. citizen, legal permanent resident, or otherwise, and you have to file and you reside in Puerto Rico, um, the only income that doesn't go in on the tax return, the U.S. tax return, is your Puerto Rico sourced income. So. If you have income outside of the U.S., that would be included as well on the 1040. So if you have assets as well outside of Puerto Rico and they're above the threshold, it could be difficult. So 
taking a step back first would be just not have to file the 1040, right? If you have $20 million worth of foreign assets and not a high amount of U.S. sourced income, it might be better to just get rid of the U.S. sourced income so avoid having to file the 1040 and therefore not having to include the 8938. If that's not an, if that's not an option, you got to find other ways to do it. If you're out of compliance and you want to get into compliance, the IRS has various programs available. VDP is the Voluntary Disclosure Program, which is for people who are willful or otherwise cannot certify under penalty of perjury that they're non-willful. If you're non-willful, there's lots of options available, streamlined filing compliance procedures, domestic and offshore, or foreign, I should say, streamlined domestic offshore, streamlined foreign offshore, uh, delinquency procedures, delinquent international information return submission procedures, and delinquent FBAR submission procedures, and there's also reasonable cause. We have lots of information available on our main website and our subs web, uh, sub websites, excuse me. You can always reach out and schedule a reduced fee initial consultation if you think it's appropriate. Again, my name is Sean Golding with Golding & Golding. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day.